to Yoga with Katie. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a yin yoga sequence. Yin yoga targets the deep muscle tissues of the body, called fascia, where tension can build up when we are stressed. In a yin yoga class, we hold the poses for three to five minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transition from one pose to the next. So I have my block, blanket, and pillow here. If you don't have it, you can use uh, towels to support yourself. So let's get started. We're going to start the class with Shavasana. So everybody come lie down on your mat. Make yourself comfortable in Shavasana. Staying here for a few minutes. Melt yourself into the mat. Slightly tuck the chin in. And down by your side. Palm facing up. Calming your mind for a few moments first. Deep, deep in out through your nose. Deep, deep, exhale through your nose. Watch your belly rise and fall with every breath. After a couple of minutes, we're going to slowly wake ourselves up and we're going to roll over to the side of our body and we're going to push ourselves up. We're going to come to a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers, hands underneath the shoulders, knees slightly behind the hip, top of the feet on the mat. We're going to do a few rounds of cat and cow. So inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight. Coming into a cat. So cat and cow. Inhale one way, exhale the other. One last one. And we're going to slowly make our way up to a dangle position. Legs are hip width apart. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, I want to opposite elbows. Slightly bend the knees if needed. Release the head down. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Taking about two to three minutes here. Just be mindful if head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, if you start feeling dizzy, you need to slowly come out of it. After two to three minutes, we're going to slowly come off it. And we're going to go back down into a tabletop. Swing side to side. Release tension. And we're going to transition to melting heart. Now, if you have any knee issues here, you can take your blanket. And we're going to spread it out to support your knees. So we're going to come lie down here. Have your knees on the mat, walking the fingers forward, release the head down, lifting the hips higher, staying here in mountain heart for about two to three minutes.
after two to three minutes, we're going to slowly, slowly come up. And we're going to transition to dragon. So bring the right foot up to the top of your mat. Left knee down. You can stay here in the hands position. Or you can rest on your pillow. So set yourself up here. Now listen to your body always. You know your body best. So usually in yin yoga, you might feel a little bit of discomfort. You may feel a little bit of an antsy. One more breath here. We're going to slowly come off it. Pushing yourself back up. And we're going to step the right leg back. And we're going to set up dragon on the other side. Stepping the left foot as high as you can. Now, first of all, you can stay on your hands. If you want more support, you can come lie down on your pillows here. Taking a few breaths here. Now we're not trying to stretch anything, any muscles in a yin yoga practice. We want to release, relax. Staying here for a couple of minutes. After a couple of minutes, we're going to slowly come up and come out of the pose. And if you have your pillow, you can just push it away. Now we're going to set ourselves up for crocodile. Slowly come down on your stomach. Legs are apart. Arms are in T. Shoulders height. Left cheek on your mat. Bending the right knee. Draw it close to the right elbow. Make yourself completely flat. Staying here for two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, we're going to transition to wing on the ground. So keep the left arm the way it is. We're going to slowly come lie down on our side. Bottom leg straight. Top leg can be bent in front or behind the straight leg. Top arm can stay on the mat. Wrap around your waist or reach for the same foot. So any variation you like. And this is where we can use the block as the pillow. Make yourself comfortable. However, if you have any shoulder injury or surgery, this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort and tingling down to your fingertips. You might be on the nerve. So just slowly come out the pose. Up 
after two to three minutes, we're going to slowly release. And we're going to go back to crocodile on the other side. Stand yourself up, legs are apart, arms are in T, right cheek on your mat. Bending the left knee, draw it close to the left elbow, make yourself completely flat. Staying here for two to three minutes. Relax. After two to three minutes, we're going to transition to wing on the ground. So right arm out shoulder height. I'm going to use my pillow. Come lie down on your side. Bottom leg straight, top leg bend. Top leg can be in front or behind the straight leg. Top arm can stay on the mat. Wrap around your waist. Intertwine the fingers or grab hold the same foot. So any variation you like, listen to your body always to avoid injury. Staying here for two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, we're going to slowly release. Setting ourselves up for seal. Legs are apart. You can come up on your forearms. Shoulders relax. You can close your eyes for a moment. Now, if you are accustomed to having your pillow underneath your stomach, you can come like this, more intensive. Staying here for two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, we're going to slowly come out of it. So pushing yourself back up and release. And from here, we're going to transition to lie down on our back. Now we're going to set ourselves up for reclining spinal twist. So come lie down on your back. Just stay here for a couple of breaths. Let your body get used to lying on its back. Release the spine down, keeping a natural curve in your lower back. Coming into a spinal twist. So we're going to bend the right knee. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slow to bring the top knee as close to the floor as possible. 
Full shoulders are still on the mat. Turn and look at the right side. Now you can have both knees bent if you like and place your towels or blanket between your knees for support. Once again, we're staying here for two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, we're gonna slowly come back to the center of the mat. Strain out the legs, bounce it a few times. And we're gonna repeat spinal twist on the other side, bending the left knee, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Using the top hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Once again, if you wanna bend both knees, have your blanket or pillow underneath your knees, go ahead. Left arm out, shoulder height. Turn and look at the left side of your neck is good. Staying here for two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, we're gonna slowly come back to center. Strain out the legs, bounce it a few times. Knee to chest, bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees. Just slightly rock side to side here or coming into a big circular motion if you like. Slowly come back to center. We're gonna to come to a happy baby. Bend both knees. Hands on the bottom of your feet. Inner arch, outer arch, or hold onto any part of the legs. Press down. Now it's not necessary to walk side to side. We're just gonna stay here for two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, we're gonna slowly release. And then we're ready for Shavasana. So if you need to cover yourself up with blanket or put on your socks or jacket, go ahead. And I'm just gonna place the pillow underneath my knees for support. I'll be guiding you to Shavasana. I'm down by your side, palm facing up. If you like, you can have one hand on your heart, the other hand on your stomach. 
Release the spine down. Keeping the natural curve in your lower back. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Tucking the chin slightly to chest. Separate your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's any where they're still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Try not to think about anything. If you have thoughts coming into your mind, you let it go. We're not trying to find answers or analyze anything. The past is already gone and there's nothing we can do about it. And the future has not arrived. So we're just going to stay here in the present moment. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying perfectly calm. Relax. And still. In the present moment. Staying here. For as long as you like. When you're ready to wake up, we're just going to slowly wake up by wiggling our fingers and our toes, rotating our ankles and our wrists, gently turning our neck left and right. And we're going to roll to the side of our body. So take your time. Come to a fetus position. When you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. So thank you very much for watching Yoga with Katie. Namaste.